Hey guys, Tarko Cycle at FPV. I'm getting ready to do a Sector 5 V3, uh, putting in the uh, TBS Crossfire Nano right here. So I figured I'd do a video on this one and then put that on our page for um, some tutorials. So if you don't mind, let me get set up here. You can see that my stuff looks crooked here. Let me make sure that's straight. Yeah, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just take this frame off real quickly. I've got this plugged in uh, so that we can um, look at the beta flight settings very quick uh, because we will need to make some adjustments here. First, let me take this frame off. Probably the one thing I don't like to do, uh, and normally you wouldn't even have to. Uh, you wouldn't even have to take it off, really. The screw doesn't want to come out either, so let me just see what heck's going on here. Uh, let me tighten this down first. Try to tighten that one so it won't come loose, and then see if we can get this top one off. There we go. All right, so I'm going to take this off. Get everything out. That's the GPS, so we'll remove that. I do like HDRC is pretty cool about leaving the wires for the receiver. So if we were putting on like a free sky receiver or even a, a fly sky receiver, uh, we would be able to just tap into what they've already put here. But because it's going TBS, we've got to change the wiring up a little bit. And I'll show you what we're going to do with that. I just, this part is always what gets me is I uh, don't like messing with all of this. But let me just go ahead and put these aside. I want to this real quickly. Disconnect the. Uh, there we go. Okay, so what we're going to do here is what we're looking at is on the board the way it's set up right now. And I'm going to go ahead and get some of my get my blind man goggles here in a second so I can get ready. Um, all right, so the way it's set up now is we're using uh, RX1 here for the S bus. What we're going to do for the TBS is we're going to actually end up using both TX1 and RX1. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with that. Now we've got three of the wires already here. We're going to need an additional wire for the TX1. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Here we go. Okay. So the way this is going to get wired up, it's pretty simple. <clears throat> Looking at the uh, Nano, Crossfire Nano, we're going to go pin one, which they call channel two. That's going to be to your TX over here, so T1. Uh, second, second pin, which will be actually channel 1, that's going to go to your R1, which is where the yellow cable is right now. Then we've got uh, uh, spot number 3, pad number 3, which is going to be your 5 volt, and that's going to go to any of the 5 volt. And since we have that already connected here with the red, we're going to tap into that. And then we have the black here for the ground, which is going to be the last option, which is the square right here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move this aside real quickly, and I'm going to go ahead and get this set up. So I'm going to apply it using our flux pen here, and I would recommend you guys Please make sure you get a flux pen. Uh, use some flux when you're doing your soldering. Uh, if you don't have one and you need one, you can go to our website on the left-hand column under tools. If you go to soldering, you'll find it there. So I've got the solder iron ready uh, and I've got the tip of it cleaned pretty good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tin this up first. Okay, it, take, it doesn't take very much time at all. One, two, three, and four, okay? All right, now, because this is already on here, we're gonna go ahead and um, cut this wire off but i'm going to leave the length there because I don't, you know we can always use the wiring so we'll go ahead and cut that and we still have to add one more wire let me go ahead and strip this real quickly and we're going to strip it and tin it so, so let's just strip them about a millimeter and a half to two mil something like that okay and then again take your flux pen you can hold that in your hand just go over the exposed wiring strands there and then once you do that then twist it up don't twist it up until you apply the flux uh, to it so just twist them this way it gets in the strands and you haven't twisted it already to where it can't get in between all right so now i'm going to leave this here i'm going to go ahead and tin it real quickly and i'm just going to make sure it's not hanging over the board or anything so we go ahead and clean the piece like that and then grab the solder and here we go so we'll go one that's 10, two, that's 10 and three, that's 10. Clean that off, put it back, and now I need to just find a wire. I'm sure I have something laying around here, I usually do. Uh, but if not, what I'm gonna do is I have, yep, yeah, I have some right here. I'm gonna take a blue wire. I'm just gonna cut some off of this one that I have here. Give me one second. Okay, there it is. 
So let me strip this one real quick. I'll deal with the length of the wire later right now. I just want to get it cut and tin. So I'm going to tin that real quick as well. Let me move this out of the way. Tin that. Spin it up here. Let me get the other side ready. Okay. Go ahead and put the flux on that. Spin that up. And then we're just going to go ahead and tin it real quickly. Let me find some solder here. I always leave my solder laying around. Some of these old pieces, the small pieces, always come in handy for something like tinning a wire. All right, there we go. Uh, now all I need to do is I need to go back to the board here and I need to go ahead and put the flux pin on the T1 pad. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and tin that pad up. Clean the tip of this, there we go. And there we go. All right, so now the pad is tinned up. I'm gonna go ahead and use this wire first to give me the T, uh, UR to TX connection. So let me go ahead and just put that on there and Done. That's soldered up. Okay, the rest of these are soldered up too. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wind this up with them. So let me unwind it real quick. I'm going to wind this up. Then I'll come down. That wire's a little too long, so let me go ahead and just cut it. And then I will strip it again and tin it again. And we'll be ready to solder and this will be done very quickly. Okay, let's twist that up. And then we're going to tin it. I'll set it off of the quad here just a little bit. Let me get my solder here. Okay, that's tinned up, that's good. All right, we can put everything else, the strippers, we can definitely put the wire strippers away, and we can put the flux pen away, we don't need that anymore. Okay, we put the screws aside, we don't need a razor blade, so we put that away. All right, now let's look at our setup here and see what we wanna do. So we know that the antenna is gonna mount in this area here, so we can go ahead, start getting that put in place. There we go. So that's now in place, it should fit nicely, and it does. Okay, so all we've got to do now is just solder this and find out how we want to mount it. So let's go ahead and solder it first. Uh, let's see, I'll solder it this way, I guess. Um, I am going to get my helping hands, whatever they are. i put them somewhere. Here they are. Because I want to hold this. And by the way, if you don't have any helping hands, guys, we sell those on our website, too. And then also, you'll notice I put some heat shrink here. That's to keep the metal from cutting into the uh, wires and to also keep it from damaging the components that it's holding. So let me hold that there. I'm going to cut this... The TX wire here is a little long. I want to make it a little bit shorter. So I'm just going to cut that back just a bit and make sure I don't cut it over the component so I don't drop any of that wire in there. All right, so we're good to go. So the first thing we're going to do is we said pin one is going to be the TX to the TX of the flight controller. So I'm going to take this new blue wire that I just added and I'm just going to give it, let me clean that off. Give it less than a second here. Boom, done. Okay, the yellow wire is going to go to pad two, which is going to be the RX. And again, less than a second. That's done. Uh, let me just make sure that's smoothed out. I don't like the way that. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to take our 5 volt, put it into pad 3. And we're going to take our ground and put that into pad 4. Just like that. Done. So we're done. Everything's wired up perfectly. All right. So we can do a real quick test. Uh, I am going to unplug the VTX for this test because I don't want it to interfere with our video transmission. So let me just kind of get in here and pull that out. And then let me get the um, power here. And I've got an AC to DC converter, and right here I've got a smoke stopper. I would definitely get you guys to get one of these. We also have these on our site. Everything that you see me using, guys, from the tools to the solder to the soldering iron, everything is available on our site. Nothing that I use here uh, is, 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 uh, is not provided on our site. So we turn it on. Okay, we want to make sure we've got our light here, and we do. Everything looks good there. Thanks, Mama. You're welcome. All right, so now what we're going to do, guys, is I'm going to show you the beta flight set up real quick. I don't need my glasses anymore for that. So let me go ahead and open beta flight on the computer screen and I'll share the screen with you so you can see what we're going to do here. And then I'll find a, a place to put this one. Um, and we need to heat shrink it, which I believe is in here already. You know what? I probably should have. Oh, they gave me the wire. I didn't even open that. I'm so used to just grabbing my own wire and I believe that they do. Yep, they have the heat shrink right here. So one of the things I just realized is I put this in before I heat, did the heat shrink. So I'm just going to take the antenna off and slide it through that real quick. That won't be a problem. 
All right, so what I'm going to do is let me get into Betaflight here and show you what I'm looking at. Uh, so let me put my screen sharing on. I'm going to close my solder, off, turn my solder off here. And then let's add the computer screen. Here we go. And we'll do this. Here we go. Okay, so here's our Betaflight screen. Uh, and let me go ahead and plug in the uh, flight controller. Okay, and we're going to connect. Okay, so we've got our port already activated, so we're going to go to our configuration setup, and we're going to come down, and we're going to select Crossfire right here, click Save. Okay, and we're going to disconnect. That's all we have to do there. So now what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and go back to the quad. We can unplug this. I do need to put in my... I totally forgot the heat shrink at first, so you can at least avoid making the mistake I just made. Although it's not the end of the world, I'll just pull this through and add it real quickly. It won't take but a minute. Oh, let me see. Here it is. Okay. I'm going to finagle this or else I would end up having an un the desolder, which is fine too. I don't mind. But let me just get this through here. There we go. Pass that down. Keep it going. And... Then we'll pull it through like this. There we go. And I'll feed that up through here. <laughs> and you wouldn't have to do this if you had just heat shrunk it before you installed it. So let that be a lesson to you guys. But if you do like I did and whatever, then you just do it like that. Anyways, you're good to go. Put the antenna back. Trick though, and I do like the heat shrink, it's like some of the best that I've used. Let me go ahead and just open that up. There we go, slide that over. Yeah, it's an excessive amount, so probably what I'll do is I'll cut it back some. So let me just cut some of it off here. I soldered it earlier. Alright, anyways, let's get to it now. Let's go ahead and close this up. Close the soldering up. Uh, I mean, uh, close the heat shrink up. And get ready to mount this properly. Turn it over. Get you with the other side. I said this, this heat shrink is some of the best. It, it does a great job. Okay. Alright, now that we're sealed. So uh, where to mount this, right? So we have a couple options here. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and put the VTX back in. There we go. And the, the uh, receiver can pretty much mount anywhere or it can be left kind of loose. It's not uh, too crazy to the setup. Uh, the wire is extending fine, so there's no issues there. Everything else here is great, so I have no issues there. So I can kind of leave it where I want at this point. What I most likely will do is just twist this wire, twist these wires up like this so they don't allow it to move very far. Um, usually I will have, and I don't think I have it on right now. I'm not going to worry about it just yet. Uh, usually I'll go over this with some hot glue just to hold it. I think I'll go ahead and turn it on, but I'm not going to make you guys wait for it to heat up. But I will go over these solder areas because you don't want these to get loose ever. As far as where it is right now, it does sit pretty good. I can look at the frame itself and say, all right, if I want to, I can easily put it onto the frame in the back here like this, right about here with some double-sided tape and leave it to where it can be bound, the, the buttons are exposed. So putting it like right about here, but I'm gonna leave this, because the customer is the end user, I'm gonna leave it there with him and let him decide where he wants to put it, but he needs to bind it first. But you can easily leave it like this. I'll just hot glue the rest of it. Outside of that, everything's ready to go. So that is installed uh, and done. Um, and let me see if there's anything else that I need to do on this. I think that pretty much does it. And unfortunately, the heat gun isn't done. So I'm going to close this up and I'll come back in and do the heat gun later. All right, guys. It's a very quick video. 15 minutes. It shouldn't have been last. I just forgot to put the heat shrink on there first. 
Uh, if you have any questions, guys, as always, uh, please uh, head on over to our Facebook group at uh, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash uh, Cyclone FPV. And then also follow us on Facebook. And as always, please support us by subscribing to our YouTube channel below. That's all I ask. And I make the videos. Uh, try to make them daily if I can, if schedule permits. So if you need one that you need made, let me know, and I'll be more than happy to put it up there. Other than that, guys, God bless. Be safe. Spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left. So please make the most of it with them. You can always fly later. We'll talk to you soon. See you. Bye. Thank you.